Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly general energy reading for April of 2022. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And quite honestly, quite frankly, um, even though this reading is dated for April of 2022, it really doesn't have to be that time sensitive, okay? This is just whatever spirit wants to bring forward for you in the month of April for your monthly general energy reading, but this can resonate for you at any time, yeah? All right, Gemini, we're just gonna dive right into this and I'm gonna start with the animal spirit guides, the animal spirit deck, um, get you some overall energy for your reading and then we'll get into the general freestyle spread with the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. All right, so let's do this and see what we've got for you for the month of April. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please bring forward the clarity, the truth, and the understanding, and the wisdom and guidance that you have for Gemini for this month of April of 2022. Excellent, Gemini. Let's get into this. We're going to start with the Animal Spirit Guides, the Animal Spirit Deck. I'm going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what overall message, overall energy is for you this month and this time period. This is one for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Um, connecting with your energy, Gemini, I am being, this is true, I am being brought back to a very nostalgic energy. Like I'm literally being brought back to when I was a kid and I used to watch things like Pokemon or like Saturday morning cartoons or like, um, you know, or just like, this is three, cartoons in general. Like whenever I would get out, when you remember when we used to get out of school and like at like three o'clock, like right after school, there was cartoons on TV and everything like that. This is four. Um, that's where I'm being brought to in your energy right now. It doesn't have to be like that specifically for you. This is five. But what I feel like here is maybe you're in a very nostalgic time period. Um, you guys may very well be connecting with your inner child and doing a lot of inner child healing and inner child work right now. And that is excellent. That is beautiful. I highly encourage you to continue with that. Any so, uh, any, It's just I'm feeling nostalgic. I'm feeling nostalgic in your energy. Okay, what's going on for Gemini? What messages do we have for Gemini this month? Please hear it. For my Gemini's sun, moon, rising, and north node. Okay, we have owl. We have panther. And at the bottom of the deck here, we also have gazelle. Okay. Higher awareness, higher wisdom. Um, gazelle, okay, so gazelle and owl actually, and panther, have come out for other signs. Of course, I don't remember which signs those were, but that's okay. Um, for Gemini, there is a sense of empowerment happening for you, and I feel like this is why you are connecting with the inner child or with your inner child right now, or why I got that nostalgic feeling for you that's leading me to believe that you're connecting with the inner child, because you are in the process of empowerment at the moment with that panther energy. Um, and you're coming to a higher state of awareness and wisdom. Spirit is guiding you uh, down this journey of higher awareness uh, and higher, uh, higher wisdom. Um, you are absolutely going through an ascension process right now. And that might, it might seem weird that the inner child is connected to that, but it's actually very important. Um, the reality of the inner child is very much underestimated and overlooked. Uh, and which is interesting, Gemini, because aren't, I feel like you're considered, sometimes you're considered the baby of the Zodiac, but I don't know why that wouldn't be Aries. But I've heard that before. I don't know if some of you guys connect with that. All right. But your inner child work is very important here. Okay. You're gaining... It's like you're going through an initiation, actually, is what I want to say. Between gazelle and owl, I feel like gazelle and owl are the energies that are leading you through a sort of spiritual ascension process that ultimately is empowering you, represented by the panther. 
Okay, obviously owl would represent that higher wisdom, higher awareness. Some of you actually might have a guru around you right now that is helping to infuse you with a certain higher state of awareness, higher learning. Some of you may even be going through um, university, college, uh, uh, expanded teachings, um, higher learning. You may have entered into some sort of school or system or uh, um, practice, a new practice here. But uh, I feel like owl and gazelle are external energies that are literally leading you down this path. Gazelle kind of feels like that very royal, very regal, high vibrational energy that has kind of come to you and has, is beckoning you towards or down this new path while owl is the actual wisdom that is being infused within you right now that is helping to empower you with panther. And inner child work is so incredibly necessary for you in this time. And maybe that's what it, that's the part of the process that you're in right now. So in terms of this nostalgia here, some of you may be going through memories. Some of you may be reconnecting with your childhood selves and uncovering certain memories from the past that you may have been holding onto or you may have been harboring or that may have been hidden from you. Uh, and you're gaining the awareness from that. You're gaining the wisdom from that. You're, you're starting to learn higher wisdom or higher lessons, see things from a higher point of view in terms of your past. And that is helping to empower you. Revisiting life circumstances from the path from a higher state of awareness that is, that are also, uh, that is also empowering you here. This is good. This is very good, Gemini. All right, let's get into your sh your spread here. This is five shuffles. One. So what messages, what are the best messages we have for Gemini at this time? Please, Spirit, this is two. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and north node. This is three. Empowerment. Empowerment is key here. This is four. Some of you, it even feels like, this is five. Some of you feel like you're graduating from some sort of adolescence into, yes, a higher state of awareness, but you're graduating from adolescence into a level of adulthood. Maybe some of you are going through a Saturn return. That is entirely possible. And we do have multiple Saturn returns throughout our lives. Um, the average person, I believe, has at least two, if not three, the first one is around like your your between like 27 to 30. The next one I believe is in your 50s and then another one is towards like your 80s. It's about every 30 years. Well, no, between between 20 and 30. Okay, anyway. Uh I don't know. Don't don't directly quote me on that, but some some of you actually may be going through your Saturn return here. A a level of Saturn return, yeah? Let's cut the deck. 1 2 Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Gemini. We're starting you off with the four of pentacles. This absolutely feels like release. So inner child work is helping you to release some sort of fears, apprehensions, uh, codependencies, conditionings that no longer serve you. Um, now, I do feel like for, for many of you here, you have certain foundational aspects to your life that you've been holding on to that did serve you for a while, but now you're releasing them. You're shedding them. As I'm speaking through this, it's almost like it's kind of like you're, you, there are certain articles of clothing that you have outgrown. Like you literally can't wear this anymore because you're too tall. Or like you've gained more weight. But I don't want to mean that in like a, like in a bad way or derogatory way. Like you, you, you've gained, figuratively speaking, you've gained more weight because you're, you're a bigger being. Okay. Underneath the Four of Pentacles is the Nine of Wands. Underneath the Nine of Wands is the Ace of Wands. And then at the bottom of all of that is the two of pentacles. Okay. I do feel like there has been a level of resistance here for you, Gemini, in terms of whatever new is coming through for you here. Okay. You are being provided with an opportunity to clear away some burdens. Nine of wands to the ace of wands. Okay. The nine to the ace would represent the 10. However, and the 10 does kind of represent an opportunity to let go of some things, all right? Um, but 
for some of you, you have certain elements to your life that you've been holding on to, and this is coming and this is coming through in the form of this nostalgia that you're being brought or I've been well, your energy is 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 kind of surrounded by. There are some things that you've been holding on to that you've been persevering with, four of pentacles to the nine of wands, but some of you, it feels like you've been very, very aware of how detrimental whatever these belief systems or situations, relationships, circumstances, uh, associations, maybe even a job, whatever, however this resonates for you. For some of you, you are very much aware of how depleting this is or how much you have been hurt by this or how it's not beneficial for you any longer. And yet you've been holding on to it, persevering with it trying to make it work out. For some of you, this is actually an energy of you looking for a way out. Either you've been looking for a way out or you've been holding on to it, trying to make it work. Either way, there is an opportunity for you. To, there is a way out, ace of wands. There's a new direction. There's a new sense of inspiration. I feel like this Ace of Wands is actually combining with this Nine of Wands to create the 10, which would 1111 be giving you an opportunity to release something. And this could be greater awareness of what it is you've been burdened by so that you can release it. The Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck definitely feels like a level of juggling. For some of you, it's trying to keep the peace. I did hear that, whether that's internal or external, okay? But I'm also getting an energy of trying to decide, weighing out your options with this two of pentacles energy. So there have been some things that you that some of you have been holding on to that you've been persevering with, that you've just been moving forward with because it's it was status quo. It's what you've always done. It's what you always understood. But there was a part of you that was wondering, that was curious. It's like, well, wait a second. Is there another way to do this? And you've been balancing or you've been juggling the two of pentacles, trying to decide while still keeping up. OK, let's say let's say you've been working at a job that you don't like or that you at least feel you want to move on from because maybe you have an inspiration towards going in a completely new direction creatively, career wise, or you just feel like you want to move on or something else has caught your attention and you're kind of wanting to explore that. But you haven't let go of that current job yet which is, practically speaking, a good idea. It doesn't have to be that, but take this as an analogy, right? And that's what I'm feeling with this Two of Pentacles. But with that, though, it's time to decide, or at least you're getting there. Okay, let's look at what else is going on for you here, Gemini. We're going to get into the first half, second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the current energy, I'm sorry, the past leading up to the current energies, the recent past leading up to the current energies. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current energies leading you off into the future. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading, you do have justice. There is a need or there was a need for justice. There became an awareness of a need for justice or a need for balancing of the scales. For some of you, this absolutely does represent or feel like a, a, a shift in career for you. And with that, I'm feeling like you have certain skills that have creatively that have come online that you've become recently aware of or maybe certain skills or certain abilities or certain desires that uh, that you have recently reconnected with. But either way, there was a realization for a need for balance in your life, uh, justice to be served in your life. I'm picking up very strong career vibes for you, or at least for some of you. I don't know why I feel like I want to say this, but I also feel like you could be dealing with a Libran. Or maybe you have Libra in your chart. I haven't done the Libra reading yet as of the moment that I'm recording this reading for you, Gemini. So for some of you, you may want to watch that reading. I'm getting that. So I'm just going to say it. And so in terms of that, some of you, this might have to do with a relationship. A certain relationship that you've been holding on to. Uh, this could be a dear friend that eventually turned into a lover. This could be a, a, like a high school sweetheart type of situation. And if this does represent, a, if this is a, a relationship for you, a romantic relationship for you, what I feel like here is that need for justice 
came through because you are expanding as an individual, your inner child is actively being healed and worked on and you're able to step into a more mature energy and thus a need for change is happening within your relationships. That, that could be the case too. That could be the same need for change that is happening and being reflected in a certain career path. Okay, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Justice is coupled with the king of swords okay that is also an aquarian energy but there was a stark awareness a clear and objective awareness that something needed something needs to change something has to become more balanced and this is very much because of the fact that there is a much greater much more mature awareness that is coming online here for you and that is directly related what i'm hearing gemini is that is directly related to the inner child work that you're doing that is cleansing, cleaning, and healing certain aspects of your life from the past that you haven't been able to let go of. You are literally transforming as an individual from a more adolescent state to a, from an adolescent state to a more mature, evolved, and grown up state. I just feel a very strong amount of change within you. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading, Page of Swords, there you are. Officially, technically, because I see the pages and the knights as the mutable signs. Gemini, you are a mutable sign. But this king of swords also represents you as an air sign, but then energetically, it represents your stark awareness. Clarity, honesty, maturity. But this page of swords is an energy of trying to figure something out, investigating, learning. So what I'm feeling for this in relation to the King of Swords and justice here for you, Gemini, I feel like you became objectively, starkly aware of something that needed to change or something that needed, <clears throat> that needed greater balance brought into it, justice. And the Page of Swords is that process of you trying to figure that out or has been that process of you trying to figure that out. That Page of Swords rep uh, kind of represents and feels like it represents the learning, the acquisition of higher awareness that is represented by Gazelle and Owl here that is helping to empower you with Panther. Page of Swords would represent that learning process, that investigation, doing the research. Also is reflective of the two of pentacles energy of trying to weigh out your options. But in order to weigh out your options, you have to learn more about the situation at hand or at least what it requires and how to go about facilitating that requirement. Page of Swords is coupled with the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is another represent representation of a certain awareness. Some of you came to this awareness because you are stuck and stagnant. And you started to wake up to that stuck in stagnancy and started to say, whoa, what the fuck is going on here? How do I bring this into balance? Also, the page of swords to the hanged man represents a time period of you kind of being stuck, knowing something needs to change, but not knowing how to go about it. So you're kind of in a stagnant energy. But again, Page of Swords, acquiring the wisdom, acquiring the understanding, acquiring the enlightenment that helps you ultimately move forward. Excellent. Your challenge, Gemini, in the past leading up to the current energies, the Empress, unconditional love, growth, expansion. Yes, yes, yes. Unconditional love, growth, expansion. And I'm also hearing nurturance. This is also, uh, the Empress is, how, is, is making me feel like this is also where your inner child comes into play. Because there is a need and or a desire and or a requirement to accept your inner child, to love and nurture your inner child. The Empress can, rep, can be seen as the Divine Mother. And I kind of feel like there was, a, there was an energy that approached you, Gemini, physically, Emotionally, spiritually, although spiritual, I'm hearing it's mostly spiritually. There was an energy that approached you that triggered you in some way to love yourself unconditionally, to nurture yourself differently or better. 
which led you to do some inner child work, but is also leading you down this path of expansion and growth, which is ultimately giving you the awareness that there is a certain level of balance or justice that needs to be brought into your life. To, be a, to greater represent this level of nurturance and unconditional love that is coming through for you here. That is allowing you to grow and expand. The Empress is coupled with the Page of Cups. That is literally a reflection of the inner child. The Page of Cups. But also the challenge here in terms of the Empress to the Page of Cups is the challenge is loving yourself enough to either start dreaming again or get into greater alignment with what it is you truly dream of. And also loving yourself enough, unconditionally enough to go after what your true dreams are or what your dreams are at this moment in your life because you are growing, expanding and changing. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading. Seven of Cups. Yes, there are the options. Maybe even a little bit of confusion. Okay, that makes sense. Seven of Cups is coupled with the Ace of Swords. Yes, I had a feeling that was going to be it. So this is you going through that process, Gemini, of learning. You became aware something's got to change. We got to bring greater balance, greater harmony. I'm also hearing greater union into our life, into my life. And thus, you are, at least in terms of the past leading up to the current moment, you've been in a process of weeding through the options, understanding your emotions, maybe, or just clearing away the clarity, clearing away, I'm sorry, clearing away the clutter to bring you greater clarity, truth, and honesty to bring you answers to the questions that you have at that time or had at that time, or maybe even at this time, because this does kind of represent the current energy, yeah? Beautiful, Gemini. Let's keep moving forward. Let's move to the second half of your reading. So the second half of your reading is going to be the current energies leading off into the future, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. You have the Page of Wands, re-identification, a brand new start, a new creative project, a new path to follow, a new way of identifying yourself. This is you emerging as the new individual that you've been working on developing, growing into, facilitating. This is also you sending a message to someone or to people around you. For some of you specifically, this is you sending a message to a current partner saying, I have changed and here is why. Or, and or, here is how. Page of Wands is coupled with the devil. This is, a, there is a level of coming out of some sort of codependent relationship. I definitely feel like, or a codependent situation. Um, uh, I definitely feel like for some of you, this is a message you are sending to a current romantic partner that's saying, I'm, I'm leaving this codependent situation behind. I have grown, I am new, I am different, and I am letting go of this. For others of you, the devil represents whatever it is you've been holding on to, persevering against, or no, persevering with, while being inspired to move forward with something. This page of wands, uh, something new. This page of wands to the devil kind of feels like the ace of wands and the nine of wands combined, getting you to the ten of wands, where you are now able to release certain burdens. So I will say any sort of investigative process you've been going through, Gemini, over the past up until the current seems to be successful because now you get to re-identify yourself in relation to some things that you have been uh, codependent on or attached to. The devil can represent attachment. The four of pentacles can also represent attachment. You are re-identifying yourself in the face of said attachment. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the second half of your reading, you have the High Priestess. And I was saying, I was feeling like you're going through a level of initiation here. And that's often what the, rep well, that's what the High Priestess can represent. Initiation. Initiation into higher awareness. Initiation into higher states of being. Very spiritually oriented. Very psychically oriented as well. The High Priestess is coupled with the Six of Swords. So what I will say here, Gemini, is this initiation process, whether it's literal or figurative, has been successful because now you are moving on. 
I definitely see with this six of swords here, you crossing past the veil or the doorway that the high priestess guards. And I feel like your life is going to be much better off and or much easier because of it. Because the Six of Swords does represent, or at least can represent, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. Those rough waters could also be represented by the Nine of Wands here. Excellent, Gemini. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Death. There's that transformation. The challenge is going through the transformation, just seeing yourself through it. And I really don't feel like you have to do any, like at this point, you wouldn't really have to do anything else other than just allow the transformation to happen because it's happening naturally. It's universally guided and orchestrated, divinely orchestrated. So really, it feels like here, you just have to allow yourself to ease into this natural transformation that's happening for you, okay? Death is coupled with, Ooh, the two of cups. This is, for some of you, this is literally the death of a current romantic relationship that you have been struggling to persevere with. For others of you, this could actually represent you aligning with a true soulmate or a partner here. That could be a very long lasting situation. For others of you, but I'm, I really want to say for many of you, Death represents a transformation in terms of your internal state of union and balance between the masculine and the feminine energies within you. You coming to a greater sense of union within yourself that allows for this transformation to happen. And I feel like everything we've been talking about here in terms of the past leading up to the current energies is exactly what is facilitating this greater sense of union, this greater sense of bond, this greater sense of balance within yourself. That will absolutely help to transform and change your external reality. But again, the challenge here is just to allow this to happen. Just ease into it, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, in the second half of your reading. Eight of Swords. But what I want to say about this, Gemini, is freedom. Jailbreak. Breaking yourself out of some sort of con confinement mentally. Maybe even physically, but you being bound because physically to a certain connection or situation because of what was going on in your mind, because of maybe even your belief system that kept you there. Eight of Swords is coupled with, bam, the Knight of Swords. So what is your closing message or, and I really want to say your potential outcome here, Gemini, for this energy, for this reading, you fighting, fighting your way out of some sort of mental and I want to say physical imprisonment. I also want to point out that this is also you in terms of how I am as a reader, how I understand the cards as a reader. Like I said, I see the mutable signs as the knights and the pages. So in the past, leading up to the current energies, you were showing up as the page because you were inquisitive. You were learning. You weren't quite as matured. And it looks like in the current energies off into the future, you have matured enough from the page to the night to release yourself from a sense of confinement. Fuck yeah, Gemini. I love that for you. <laughs> okay. I want to get your closing oracle guidance here. And I really want to get it. I know I've been using a different deck for the signs. But today, I want to use the... I'm really feeling the Crystal Mandala deck for you guys, all right? So let's do that. Let's get your closing oracle guidance for this monthly message. Also a fairly timeless reading, you guys, all right? Here we go. Five shuffles for you, Gemini. This is one. Two. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. This is three. Closing or guidance for you, Gemini. Four. And five. All right. Closing guidance for you, Gemini. Bam. 
Oh yeah, this is beautiful. And actually, this is a really beautiful card. I love the colors on this card. Card number six, Angel Amitiel and Blue Obsidian, Revelation. We bring you the gift of revelation. There are times when not knowing is helpful. During such times, you develop unconditional trust in the universe. That trust will then support you in living your life according to your personal truths. You need a lot of trust in yourself and in life to live with such courage. Not knowing the bigger picture can help you stay focused on what you need to do right now. Rather than getting so excited about the future, you become distracted from the work that needs to be accomplished in the present moment, unwittingly slowing down your progress and delaying the very future you want to draw closer to you. However, there are other times when it is more helpful to know, to understand, to see. A particular truth will help you gain perspective, let go of the past, heal a wound and feel safer, feel more loved, more empowered and ready for the next step on your life journey. This is one of those times. We bring you the helpful gift of revelation now because you are ready to know a deeper truth. Bam. There you have it, Gemini. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below, including a list of the readings that I offer and my email address. Make sure to shoot me an email and let me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. I highly encourage you guys to check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well for extra monthly content, somewhat semi-daily content with me throughout the month. Uh, for as little as $3 a month, you can get access to all of that, plus, plus a whole backlog of readings that would be available to you. And certain tiers give you discounts on your personal readings, uh, either 10 or 20%. And there is one tier that gives you one personal reading with me each month included in your subscription. So check that out out. As always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe as that helps get, please definitely smash that like button um, because that helps to get more of these messages out to more people. With that said, Gemini, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes? Beautiful. <laughs> Bye.